Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSER at home. In this video, we can study about water quality analysis. Here, most probable number method. Today we can study most probable number method. It is for coliform testing. Okay. MPN is to determine the presence of coliform bacteria in a given water sample. The water samples means you can check drinking water, then river water, sea water or estuarine water okay for the presence of coliform bacteria so mpn method is used for checking the presence of coliform bacteria in a given water sample you know that the natural water contains lot of bacteria natural water this is natural water it contains wide variety of microorganisms this we know that our river in system is very much polluted. It's undergo microbial pollution from various sources. So this natural water contains lot of pathogens. Okay, some of the bacteria are pathogenic. It includes enteric pathogens. That means if the natural water is contaminated with fecal matter, it contains enteric pathogens. It causes diseases like bacillary dysentery, typhoid fever, cholera, paratyphoid fever, okay, then hemolytic uremic syndrome, etc. That means our aquatic environment is very much polluted. So this MPN method is used to understand how much polluted is our natural water body. Here in this picture, you can just check the various sources of pollution into our water bodies point sources okay there are two type of sources point sources and non point sources the point sources in contains the waste from housing unit hospitals industries including pesticides and antibiotic production industries then seafood industries you know the seafood they are just dumping all the waste into the aquatic environment that we know the seafood processing effluent is releasing into the water bodies then the slaughterhouse that is also an important point of contamination okay these waste materials are released into water bodies then wastewater treatment plants okay they release partially treated and treated wastewater into the aquatic system the, these are point sources non-point sources including ballast water Balance water, the water present in, inside the ship to balance. So, balance water, then septic system. Okay. This is very important. Okay, septic system. It contains enteric, most of the enteric pathogens are coming from septic systems. Okay. Then animal waste, then agriculture, then land runoff. All these pollutants are finally releasing into our water bodies that's why it contains enteric pathogens so the pathogens cause diseases examples bacillary dysentery typhoid fever cholera paratyphoid fever then hemolytic uremic syndrome etc and these diseases that affect the gastrointestinal tract okay enteric disease means enteric pathogens cause enteric disease that means it affect the gastrointestinal tract so our water bodies the water bodies contains different type of bacteria okay the analysis of water sample on a routine base for each and every bacterial group is not practical that means this you can understand from this picture that it contains our water bodies contains lots of bacteria okay pathogenic bacteria so it is very much difficult it is very difficult to analyze each and every bacteria it is not practical so if our water body contains any microorganisms of fecal origin okay then we must understand that it contain other pathogens if the given sample contains microorganisms of fecal origin that means it contain other pathogenic bacteria also okay it contains other pathogenic bacteria that is the principle behind mpn test okay then coliform bacteria mpn test is mainly for 
coliform bacteria. So that means coli like characteristics. That means Escherichia coli like characteristics. Which are they? What are the characteristics of Escherichia coli? Gram negative rod, then non sporulating, then fermentation. It can ferment lactose with the production of acid and gas. Understood? Then why Escherichia coli is an indicator bacteria? Why Escherichia coli is considered as an indicator bacteria? Because it is found in large number in animal fecal matter. Okay. Then it lives longer in water compared to other enteric bacteria. Then easily quantified. So that's why E. coli is considered as an indicator bacteria. Now we can study the MPN test. It contains three steps. Presumptive test, confirmatory test, and completed test. First, we can check what is presumptive test. Okay. Water samples. That means 10 ml water sample and 1 ml water sample and 0.1 ml water samples are inoculated into EC broth. Okay. Water samples are inoculated into EC broth. The 10 ml water sample is added to 10 ml double strength EC broth. First, we need to prepare EC broth. EC broth. EC broth contains bile salt. Okay, bile salts. It prevents the growth of gram positive bacteria. So, E. Escherichia coli and coliforms are gram negative bacteria so this bile salt prevent which bacteria gram positive bacteria okay gram positive bacteria here 10 ml is added to double strength ac broth what is meant by double strength and single strength for example if we are dissolving 3.7 gram of ac broth in 100 ml that means single strength okay single strength and if you are dissolving 3.7 gram of this ec broth the powder in 50 ml water then it becomes double strength understood so that means this is single strength and 3.7 gram in 50 ml means double strength. This is only for understanding. Okay. okay. You need not study about these things. Okay. You need to study what the MPN testing contains. Three steps. Presumptive test, confirmatory test and completed test. In presumptive test, we are adding water samples into EC broth. Okay. 10 ml into 10 ml double strength EC broth. Then 1 ml and 0.1 ml is added to. 10 ml single strength EC broth. Then incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. Then the next day you can check for gas production. If it is producing gas then you can consider it as positive. That means your water sample contains coliform. That is the presumptive test. Okay. The gas production in inverted Durham's tube is indicates positive presumptive test. Now we can study detail. Just check this diagram. This is the water sample. Okay, the water sample we collected from any pond or you are well or tap water. These are the tubes. We can use three tube method. Or 5 tube method for MPN. 3 tube method is easy. That means we need to take only 3 tubes. Okay, 3 tubes for a set. 5 tube means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to take 2 more. That is 5 tube method. So here you can see the color light yellow. That means single strength. 2 set of single strength easy broth. That means these two set are 
single strength is a broth single strength is a broth okay this is these three are double strength understood first we need to prepare this ec broth that means 3.7 gram in 100 ml dissolve the uh, dissolve the ec broth in 100 ml water 100 ml distilled water then fill the test tubes and put the duram tube okay this is duram tube in inverted position why we are putting in inverted position because what is the result? What is the result after this 24 to 48 hour incubation? What is the result? If, if it contains Escherichia coli or any other coliform, that is gas production. The gas in the Duram tube. That means this picture, just look. This is the Duram tube, inverted position. Okay, here after 24 to 48 hour incubation, here you can see here here gas production the gas will be trapped here okay gas production and sometimes this tube will float here that means the gas production is very high okay these two are positive and here first we are preparing the easy broth double strength and single strength easy broth then put the duram tube into it then autoclave it okay autoclave at 121 degrees celsius for 50 minutes then after that we can add water sample first we can add 10 ml sample 10 ml sample into the double strength this is double strength okay double strength 10 ml sample into double strength then 1 ml sample into single strength and finally 0.1 ml sample into single strength okay this is presumptive test understood 3 2 method mpn method 3 2 presumptive test and then the tubes were kept for incubation okay three set of tubes were kept for incubation at 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 48 hour understood and next day we can check the gas production if it produced the gas if the gas is trapped inside the duram tube or if the duram tube is floating like this we can assume we can consider our water sample as positive positive for e coli or it is positive for coliform bacteria the next test is confirmed test the next test is confirmed test that means we are taking a loop full of growth from presumptive test and then it is transferred into brilliant green lactose bile broth understood that means this is easy broth easy broth easy broth containing durams tube okay here you can see gas produced inside that means gas is trapped inside that means positive we can transfer one loop full of growth this is the inoculation loop okay one loop full means here one loop full of growth into brilliant green lactose bile broth this is brilliant green lactose bile broth. Okay. Brilliant green lactose bile broth. Brilliant green lactose bile broth. This brilliant green lactose bile broth binds ox bile dry and brilliant green. these inhibit gram positive bacteria okay escherichia coli that is coliform coliforms are gram negative bacteria 
this is the broth inoculated broth then incubate the tubes at 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 48 hour here also what durams tube okay we can here also a durams tube Durham's tube is also there. So next day, if gas production in the inverted Durham's tube, okay, here if it is contains gas production, it indicates positive confirmed test. Okay, that means the the growth that is the positive presumptive test tubes, the tubes with positive presumptive test that is positive EC broth, positive presumptive test. The culture from the positive presumptive test is transferred into brilliant green lactose bile broth. Then incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. Okay, and what is the result if the if our sample is positive? That means it contains pathogens, enteric pathogens. There will be a gas production in the inverted Durham's tube. That means positive confirmed test understood then completed test third is completed test completed test means okay this is positive brilliant green lactose broth with gas production completed test means we can take a loop full of growth okay we can take a loop full of growth from loop full of growth from brilliant green lactose broth and inoculated into EC broth okay EC broth we can again it is inoculated into EC broth that is completed test and at the same time okay we can also inoculated into EMB agar EMB agar eosin methylin blue emb agar means eosin methylin blue so that means we can full of culture and streak on the emb agar okay like this and positive means if it contains gas this is positive reaction and the colonies will be green metallic sheen okay the colonies will be if it is contains escherichia coli the color will be green metallic sheen okay okay if it contains escherichia coli that means green metallic sheen colonies on emb occur finally we have to check a result with an mpn table here you can see first we need to check this one okay 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is 10. 1, 2, 3. If 3 are positive, that means gas production positive for that the value is 3. Then look for 1 ml. If it is positive, if the 3 tubes are positive, then 3. Then, then look for 0.1 ml. If the 3 tubes are positive, then, the, then you can write 3. What is the value? 3, 3, 3. We can check. 3, 3, 3. Okay, that means all the tubes are positive. Here it is more than more than 1100. Okay, it is very high load of coliform in our water sample. Here the other values you can see the positive tubes. Okay, first 10 ml, 1 ml, 0.1 ml. If the 10 ml 0, then 1 ml 0 and 1 ml 1 that means 0 0 1 what is the value 3 that means 3 per ml okay this is about mpn water quality analysis if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you